welcome to another episode of Underground Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the new album from Skullfist called Paid in Full. So one movement in modern metal that's been picking up steam in recent years has been the ever-growing new wave of traditional heavy metal. Bringing us bands like Enforcer, Striker, Holy Grail, Crystal Viper and many more. All these bands have taken up the torch of classic heavy metal in its various forms. Everything ranging from priest and maiden worship to US power metal, man of war love and, and thrash tend to be the tools of trade for many of these bands. Skullfist most certainly falls into this family. Skullfist are a Canadian band hailing from Toronto, and in 2011, they made waves with their first full-length album, Head of the Pack. This album, um, which attracted a fair amount of critical and fan praise, really showcased the band's fiery guitar acrobatics, love of classic heavy metal with tinges of thrash and speed metal, and with the soaring vocals of band leader Zach Slaughter up front and center alongside the exciting guitar attack. All this tinged with a pinch of 80s pop metal cat catchiness in the realm of, you know, like an 80s scorpion or something like that. Scorpions. Paid in Full is the band's first, sorry, fourth full length effort. And despite numerous lineup changes, the approach is for the most part, a continuation from what they had started way back on their first album. Pain in Full kicks off with the title track, which is a mid-paced rocker with some cool guitar histrionics laced into the riffing, a very catchy, if not slightly predictable chorus, and some cool guitar sweeping and shredding to add the fire to the track. What's very noticeable from the beginning is that the production has much more in common with their previous album, 2018's Way of the Road, with its far cleaner and more modern sound than it does with their earlier albums. Of course, it gives us more clarity, but in my opinion, one of the coolest aspects of their first two albums was the very old school 80s reverb drenched production, which just made everything sound more animated and intense. It all feels a little too safe and sterile for this kind of music. Every song on Paid in Full, more or less, follows a similar pattern to the album opener, just really sort of varying up the pace and occasionally adding those thrash and speed metal elements into the mix. Unlike their earlier albums, I find myself waiting for the verses and choruses to get out of the way so I can enjoy the excellent guitar shredding and the instrumental passages, which do absolutely slay like they always have with this band. I would also say that in the past, I liked the way Zach both used and produced his voice, whereas here, even though he is a very talented singer with great facility, I don't particularly like the tone of his voice, so I find the vocals somewhat inconsistent here, at times sounding awesome and at other times sort of very annoying and, and, and distracting, really. At times, Zach sort of sounds like he's soaring through the clouds with 10-ton balls, and other times he's like a little boy trying to sing metal. Standouts for me include Long Live the Fist with its fantastic guitar exhibitions, Blackout, which is pure heavy metal goodness, um, For the Last Time with its 80s highway metal vibe and killer guitar solo, and probably, let's say, Warrior of the North with its cool sort of speed and power metal attack. If you're a music lover who wishes to discover new sounds and directions, then Paid in Full is probably not the album for you. However, if you want to hear heavy metal that owes everything to the late 70s and, and 80s classics, then there is plenty here for you to enjoy. The performance, performances are all excellent and the guitar playing especially is a real standout. Does it live up to their first few albums? Well, not for me. And in that sense, it's a bit of a disappointment. However, that doesn't mean the album sucks, far from it. In many, in many ways it kicks ass, 
and new wave of traditional heavy metal fans are sure to love it. Anyway, uh, how would I rate this album? Well, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me uh, and thanks for helping me shine the light on another underground band. Definitely, if they come to town, go check them out, go buy their merch, buy their albums, support the underground bands. Um, and so thanks for watching. Stay metal and see you next time.